Brenda Dines. I was O'Brien, same as Rachel. Um, I was born in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. So I'm Rachel. Um, I was born here. Um, this is my mum. So this is Charlie. Um, I've had both my children here at the Queen Elizabeth. Um, my daughter, she's six and a half, and Charlie, who was one. Uh, I obviously came here for um, prenatal, for antenatal appointments, and found it really, really good. The way I was treated and everything was really good. Um, obviously, uh, I had a, you know, a scan, but they couldn't give you the gender then. Um, so I didn't know if I was having a boy or a girl. Um, I came in and they were going to induce me. They were going to start me off. I came in on the Tuesday morning. Um, and they started to induce me, but I went straight into labour. You weren't waiting, you were too impatient to be born. Um, and I had you on Tuesday, the 1st of October. Um, and it was about, I think it was about five o'clock tea time-ish. The midwife was called Helen, as far as I remember, and she was really, really good. She said, this baby's going to be born really quickly. And I called her a liar because I'd been in labour so long with your sister. But you were, again, you were impatient. Like, you always are eager to get on with things. Uh, so, yeah, you were born really quickly. But I couldn't fault the treatment that I had. I was in three days and I, I couldn't fault the care that I had. It was absolutely amazing. Um, my first daughter, um, as I say, my first my daughter, she was born here. Um, I was that was via emergency caesarean, um, but again the care was absolutely amazing. Charlie, he was born here a year ago, just over a year ago, and he was born in the new theatre, and um, the brand new theatre here at the QE, and that was absolutely amazing. You know, from having emergency caesarean to a planned caesarean, the experience was amazing. And um, again, the staff here, I was really, really well looked after, um, and I really, it was a really amazing experience. And you were thinking about a water birth at one point, weren't you? Yeah. That, that was something that I was never really given an option of. It didn't work out that way for you, but... Yeah, <laughs> so, no. so, yeah, for, so me first, as I say, I was going to have a natural or a water birth, but it ended up being, you know, like an emergency caesarean. Um, and again, I was really, really well looked after. Um, once I delivered my daughter and things, it was I was really, really well cared for. So when it came to, to having my son, um, because I'd had a little bit of a, you know, un like unpleasant time having my daughter they advised to have um you know like a, a planned cesarean and again with that I mean I would have liked to have a natural but you know it's the safety of yourself and your your children so I would had as I say I had a planned cesarean and you know the date you're coming in the time you're coming in and you think well actually I'm actually going to have my baby on this day so it's a lot different than planned to natural um but you know I can't fault having a cesarean um, yes, you've got to recover and things, but if you if you need to have that, I would advise people never to be put, put off by it, because I've had two amazing experiences with my cesarean. And when I was pregnant with you, I was I moved back here and I was so pleased that you were going to be born in the same hospital that I was born in, and that you were going to be a Geordie. Um, and then, obviously, when your Nicola had Rosie, uh, my first grandchild, she was born here. She's 21 now. She was premature. She was six and a half weeks premature. Um, so she had to go in the special baby care unit. So that was a, a worrying but an amazing experience because I saw her born. Um, the doctors, the, the care that was given there was amazing because um, the doctors were in the room with the incubator and everything set up, ready to, to look after Rosie in case there was anything wrong. And she had amazing care in the special baby care unit. And then I was lucky enough when Lenny was born, your sister's second daughter, again, I was there for our birth and it was absolutely amazing. We were in a room on our own. Um, when you had your emergency section, um, it was quite worrying, but you were, you, you know, you were so well cared for. Um, but with Charlie, obviously, we all knew you were off you went, we waved you <laughs> off, and we knew you were going to hospital uh, to have your baby, and you, you would come back with a little boy, so that was that was great. Yeah. And here he is. I just think it's lovely that we've all been born here. I think Nicola thinks she should have been born here. And then, obviously, I couldn't go in when you had... Um, Charlie and Elise because you had cesareans but it was just amazing and I'm really really proud that we were all born in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and I feel like a little bit of history there because my children have been well my daughter's been born here my grand three granddaughters have been born here and my grandson 
So it's really nice for me um, being born here to then having me two children here, um, which because I live in the Gateshead community, so it's really nice to have myself and my children being born here. Um, again, like you know, having that amazing experience, but it's also really nice um, that I now work here as well, which is lovely. Well, to anybody that's coming and um, planning to have that baby here, um, can I just say that for my generation? And from what I've seen in my daughter's experiences, the antenatal care, um, the maternity care, the postnatal care, is just, I can't say any fault in it, and I've never really heard anybody that's had a bad experience at maternity here. Yeah, so I would definitely, you know, anybody that's looking to come and have the baby here, I would definitely recommend it. It's a lovely hospital. All the staff are lovely here. You'd definitely be, be well looked after. Um it's a, re as I say, really nice community um, and a really nice community hosp hospital for you to be delivering your baby here. Yeah.